just a quick update on the pond now that it's summer um, it's June and all the plants have grown really well they've just took over the pond pretty much especially the top section which is what I wanted so this is now and I'm going to show you two months before now this is what the pond looked like in April the weather started to warm up and this is what I was left with after winter so not a lot going on but as it's warmed up the plants have come out really well as you can see in just two months roughly two months all these plants have gone crazy much better than I, than I expected and I forgot that all these pond plants actually flower because I did the pond in August last year and it was just a bit too late for all the flowers and the plants so I put all the plants in and I didn't see any of the flowers and they didn't grow like this either because it was a bit too late you know it was August so I just missed it so now 10 months later I'm seeing all the all the flowers come out and the plants take off for the first time so I'm just going to name the plants I'm going to name them by their common name on the screen but I'm also going to put their more descriptive name in the description of the video So this top section is the bog section of the pond. It's full of stones which act as the filtration. And the creeping jenny has really just took over this section, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Because I put it in August time last year, it didn't really grow much. We got some uh, cobwebs in there as well so lots of insects and stuff but it didn't really grow much when I put it in and I didn't really know how it was going to grow or how fast this is actually two or three days after the first recording the yellow flowers have all just come out so I'll refilm this section so in just a couple of days it all starts flowering so Creeping Jenny is doing exactly what, it, what I wanted it to do It's sat in the bog section using up all the nutrients and stuff out of the stones or the, or the trapped dirt or whatever it's using all that as nutrients and it's growing really well and it's hanging over the edge and it's flowering as well so I reckon in another two months I reckon this whole top section will just be covered in either creeping jenny or on the right side this blue star creeper the creeping jenny kind of takes over so I reckon it will eventually it will take over the right side as well but it's doing what I want it to do it's crawling down the front and eventually it will crawl down into the water section below so I'll have to trim it then This plant's also going to flower. It's very close to flowering, and they should be white flowers, little white flowers. This is a, a reed, and after winter, there's actually nothing there of the reed. This is called a cattail, narrow leaf cattail reed. It died off, well I cut it off uh, last winter and this year it was just a stub so it's come back from fresh and you can see the size of it there, how tall it's got. This purple flower is really nice, I'm getting quite a few of these now. So this one popped up and another two and a third one 
They don't last very long though, they uh, they die off pretty quick. But there's quite a few on there. Really nice flowers, pretty big. So we've got a new one there ready to come out. This is my water lily. This actually came out of my granddad's pond and just lay dormant in a bucket of water for quite a few months before I actually had it and put it in this pond. And again, it started off this summer as just um, just in the tub, in the bottom, no lilies, nothing, because it all dies off when it comes winter. And all these lily pads have just sprouted. I reckon I get a new one every day reaching the surface and they're quite big as well also there's a bud coming up and it's quite near the surface and that's gonna open up into a really big lily I'm not sure what colour that will be but it's gonna look really good see the goldfish there this is another type of reed. I actually thought it was dead. I didn't think it was going to do anything. It just looked like a dead twig. So I just put that in just to see what would happen. And within a few days it just started sprouting all these new stems. Which is really good. I reckon I'll get quite a few reeds out of that. Also one there as well. Really small. That, was, that literally was just those two twigs. Put them in there, see what would happen. And all these new reeds sprout up. I'm not sure how tall it gets or anything like that, so that'll be interesting to see. Growing really quick though. These are flamingo. I had these in my little pond jar, a video that I made earlier. Um, I made a little pond in a jar and these were the plants I used, fl uh, flamingo. So I didn't want to bin them off because I moved the plants out of the jar, I didn't want to bin them. So I just put, put several stalks into these flowering pots just to see what would happen. And they just really took off, growing across the water and everything. Really nice. the northern blue flag this is this uh, thick grass this grows quite quick as well it didn't really die off in the winter either I thought it would but it was the only one that didn't so that's the pond as of June I'm gonna do another one in August September another video update just to see how far along the plants come I reckon the pond will be pretty much overrun flowers I think uh, all the plants will flower by then I think it will look really really nice so thanks for watching if you want to see how the pond looks in a couple of months then subscribe